The clock's movement is known for its reliability. The designers were the lawyer and amateur horologist Edmund Beckett Dennison and George Airy. The astronomer Royal Construction was entrusted to clockmaker Edward John Dent. After his death in 1853 his stepson Frederick Dent completed the work in 1854. As the tower was not completed until 1859, Dennison had time to experiment before its installation in April that year. Instead of using a deadbeat escapement and remontoir as originally designed, he invented a double three-legged gravity escapement, which provides the best separation between pendulum and clock mechanism, thus mitigating the effects of rain, wind and snow on the dials. Dennison never patented his design, and it quickly became the standard on all new high-quality tower clocks. On top of the pendulum is a small stack of pre-decimal penny coins. These are to adjust the time of the clock. Adding a coin has the effect of minutely lifting the position of the pendulum's center of mass, reducing the effective length of the pendulum rod and hence increasing the rate at which the pendulum swings. Adding or removing a penny will change the clock's speed by 0. 4 seconds per day. It keeps time to within a few seconds per week. It is hand wound, taking about 1. 5 hours. 3 times a week. The keeper of the clock is responsible for looking after the movement in addition to overseeing every aspect of maintenance around the palace. A team of horologists are on call 24 hours a day to attend to the clock in the event of an emergency. On the 10th of May 1941, a German bombing raid damaged two of the clock styles and sections of the tower's stepped roof and destroyed the House of Commons chamber. Architect Sir Giles Gilbert Scott designed a new five-floor block. Two floors are occupied by the current chamber, which was used for the first time on 26 October 1950. The clock ran accurately and chimed throughout the Blitz.